MP Rhoda Crawford tell politicians to be mindful of insightful comments. Manchester Central Member of Parliament Rhoda Crawford is urging political aspirants and representatives to be mindful of making comments which might suggest support for wrongdoing. What I'm saying is that when you are a political leader, you have a responsibility to be responsible. You have to be careful what you put out from your mouth because your supporters will interpret it in any sort of way she said on Sunday at Jamaica Labour Party's Manchester Southern Constituency Conference. She blasted Mandeville Mayor Donovan Mitchell for recent comments he made at Manchester Municipal Corporation while minority leader Omar Miller was raising concern about lottery scamming in the parish. Miller told Mitchell that lottery scammers are among the top supporters of parties in Manchester. You have many persons who invest heavily in planning their parties. This is a concern that I have as well, but we have to be careful. Because police business is not an easy business, Miller said, let us see dialogue outside the media and see how we can have some sort of these issues resolved. Some of the same parties, they look heavily in the same scammers and everyone who are much of the country come in support. They are talking about money business. We know if you visit and pass, you can see some of the activities, washing all them boat to Tennessee and all these things, he added. Mayor Mitchell chimed in and compared Miller's statement to an ongoing debate about unexplained wealth. Nothing is wrong with that because there is nothing wrong with unexplained wealth, sit down, Mitchell said, evoking laughter among some councillors. Mitchell in a statement said that the comment was a sarcastic job aimed at the JLP current behaviour. However, Crawford believed Mitchell shouldn't have uttered the words in the first place. When am I going to get up and talk about him not saying nothing wrong with unexplained wealth? And when am I going to make some utterance? We look like they must support scammers and scamming and they must go up on platform and big up certain elements. Then we see the crime and criminality and then we are going to wonder a we going to Manchester as political representatives. People find for high office need to be responsible, she stated. She also chimed Mitchell for comments he made questioning the police rationale for imposing curfews resulting in economic loss. You cannot do those things because if we really want to get rid of crime monsters as political leaders in the parish, we have to stand strong and let the criminals realize that we are united in the fight against criminality, she stated. She reiterated her support for the police in imposing the security measures. The police are trained, they are acting on intelligence, the police them are nomad people, so if they sit down and look at the numbers and get credible information, do their investigation and say, we have to put in curfew in certain communities, citizens should not complain, because the number one priority is to save lives, she stated. Official figures from the police show 43 murders in Manchester up to October 26 and almost 16% increase over 37 recorded for the same period last year. The prices also recorded 37 shooting, 12% above last year. Crawford had also called on residents to support the necessary security measures to curtail violence in the South Central Parish. Labour rights and people of Manchester make us bear a little bit more inconvenient so that we can bring the criminality and the murder down so that we can free up. Sometimes you sit back and you hear the people them get killed and you say, no sir, that now reached me. Well, I heard a report. I saw it online. I heard that the man speaking, I didn't see a face and he was saying he never knew this could happen at his doorstep, she stated. Manchester had a reputation for peace, tranquility and safety. The police are equipped. Dr. Chang is ejecting more resources and putting more manpower on the ground. Let us stand up and support the police. Let us support them because, like I have said before, it is better we lose a little business and make up back for it than to bury a loved one who will never see again, she added. JLP supporters again call for Mamadi's return. In the latest call for their former member of parliament, Marissa Dalipa Philbert, to return to the seat she walked away from more than a year ago, Jamaica Labour Party supporters in Chulani Southern struck Albert Town Square on Monday. They also call on Jamaica Labour Party leader and Prime Minister Andrew Holness to ensure the woman they affectionately call Mama D is selected as their representative in time for the party's annual conference next month. The main reason we are here today is calling upon the party to appoint back Mrs. Philbert as a candidate for the next election. She has done a lot of work in Southern Trelawney from 2007 up to the time she resigned in 2023. Her hard work in Southern Trelawney is a legacy that we want to continue to build on 
we can't afford for her not to be our candidate in the next general election, insisted Humber Dawkins. Every election she won, she won it with an increased margin, he added. Tracy and Hewitt chimed in, we need back our mother. They were at pains to a point out there where the street asking for what they want but respectfully. We are here today not protesting, but we are appealing to our party to give us back Mama D. We want back Mama D. There are so many things she left to be done, so many programs that she started and to be implemented, and we need these work and these programs to be completed under her watch, one woman who identified herself as Anisha told reporters. Council for the Ulster Spring Division, in Sun, said that his counterpart in Alberton Division, Devon Daces, were among their gathering. This is not a protest. We are asking our party to return to us at this time, Mama D. The truth is, we have been without an MP for over a year, and what is also true is that the government has provided supervision through Dr. Horace Chang and the constituents has been benefiting from the various programs of the government. But as we are aware, Dr. Chang has his own responsibilities as an MP. He is also a general secretary and, most of all, our minister of security. When we are looking at the crime numbers, they are going down and we want to relinquish him of those roles here so that he can keep his hands on ensuring that the crime goes down and give us our member of parliament, said a diplomatic person. Davis agreed. I am here standing with the people that you see here. Why are they here this morning is not a protest, but rather to get the government to understand that we want our MP. The choice of the people is Mama D. There are a lot of things she has done, and the people want the progress to continue, he noted. Dalrymple Philbert won Trelawney Southern in four consecutive elections, but stepped aside as Speaker of the House and MP in September 2023 after a ruling by the Integrity Commission Director of Corruption Prosecution, Keisha Prince Kamiko, that she will be charged for running a full of the Parliament Integrity Act 1973 in filing her statutory declarations. Dalrymple Philbert recently appeared in court at the preliminary hearing for the matter, but the case was rescheduled until December. Earlier this month, in her first appearance on political stage since her resignation, she declared her unwavering devotion and support to her family in the constituency. In August, speaking from a political platform in Alberton Square during his presentation by the People's National Party PNP as their representative for the upcoming elections, Paul Potmore made a similar call on wholeness to name Dalrymple Philbert as their candidate. He had his own reasons for the call. Tell him that the people of South Trelawney realize that he can't find a representative, but we are going to give him help to find one, and we're saying, Mr. Holness, we know it is rough, but send us Marissa Dalrymple. This is the one that we in South Trelawney want to give a political beating. We want to give her a beating, a pumped up Patmore said then. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.